think it's recording. <laughs> yep, it is recording. I'm just going to change the title and game category before we start. This is not Cookie Wars, it's Cookie Run Oven Break. There we are. Pomegranate Cookies Trial. Season three, part three, update. There we go. Next combi while we wait. I forgot to add the description, so this is a boring startup. You can probably just skip ahead a little bit until I start talking more enthusiastically. That's how you know the episode will truly start. And we're already dead. <laughs> Yoop. Alrighty, there we are. Hey, Wolfpack protesters, one, two, three, four. Long time no see indeed. Oh, it's awesome to see you. Oh, fantastic. I'm glad you can make it. Also, for anybody uh, at this point, which was j basically just you, if you refresh your page, the title and description should be changed accordingly. So all will be better now. Ooh, message retracted. That means I don't know what the... Oh! That means I don't know what the message is. I dropped my phone. Uh, <laughs> sorry for everyone's ears there. I dropped it onto my laptop, because I have my laptop right here. It did not fall onto the floor, so it was a very close drop. But at the same time, the floor has carpeting, and my laptop is a hard metal and plastic fusion. I wonder, yeah, is this metal or is this some sort of plastic? It feels like metal. Pretty sure the laptop is made of metal. But at the same time, I wonder if part of it is plastic. It can't be a fusion of the two. So I'm pretty sure, no, oh, of course it's all metal, yeah, because it's magnetic, duh. What am I thinking? Blech. And this is going to be another one of those days where Handington doesn't make much sense. Uh, why is there a B? Eh, we'll never know. What do you mean B? What B is there? Why is there a mysterious B? Is it Barry? Barry from the B movie? My little Handington logo is up on the top there. This little thing over here. That's my that's my logo. Four minutes and four seconds so far. As of the uh, stream going, I believe it's a quite a few seconds off, about 20, because it says 3.51 at the moment for the elapsed time. But this has been recording for longer. Ooh, rainbow bag. All right, I'm going to focus on getting that. Yes, we got that. Hoopla. Ooh, we're going to miss that. Oh, no, we got it. Never say never. Even though I didn't say never in the first place. But hey, in, it, mentally I said that we'd never get it. And we actually did. Yeah, Dreams yeah. do come true. Oh my gosh, my phone continues to vibrate. That means I'm getting messages from places. Places, I tells ya. And another pirate coin bag. Yeah, 13. Yeah. Oh, that's right, I have a little ghost. Ooh, maybe we can get that golden bag before... Yes, we got it. Before we died. Little golden bag, like the little golden books. Check the comment on the top of that comment. B-movie is a meme, yes. Oh. 
Oh, your retracted comment. Oh, okay. It was just a bleep. It was just a random B. Okay. Understood. Ogle dogle. Well, now that I have a long period of time where nothing has happened, time to talk more about the events that have gone on. Sorry for everybody who is waiting through all of this. Do I know Baldi's basics? I have avoided spoilers on it successfully, actually. Besides, I know it's supposed to be like a horror game disguised as one of those super old, uh, like, 90s poorly made PC games like Sonic's Learning World or something like that. So, I don't know too much about it. I don't think I'm going to be playing it for this October, but I have heard of it, uh, I have heard about it. I was thinking I may play it in the future, but I don't know what, what is in store. So, we will see how that goes. Anyway, this post-channel intro to the live stream has finished, and now I shall begin correctly. Hello, friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today we're playing Cookie Run Oven Break. Now, there's a brand new update that came out, and a whole bunch of different things that are going on in this update. First of all, there's the Kamiho Cookie Roulette. I don't remember if I have shown this already or not, but by running in Breakout and getting three uh, mystery bags, I can earn two spins, and then I earn another two spins by running as Kamiho Cookie. Again, I do not remember if I have shown you this or not, but it is a, a, an interesting event. It's a brand new event. They haven't done that before. Ah, darn it, I missed the... How did you miss the bag? Oh, well. Anyway, uh, the, the box, I mean. Anyway, so, it's a brand new event where you do a couple of missions, and then after doing them, you're able to earn a few spins to go around a board, and each place that you land will give you a reward. And if you roll and get a four or a five, you get a free extra spin. And you can end up going backwards, but even going backwards isn't that bad because you'll still get a reward from the space that you land. But each time you go around the board, you earn a prize. What's bad is that when you make a lap to go around the start, you lose whatever good roll that you had. So I have actually rolled a five, and it was one space away from the start, and then it got rid of my five, let me keep the extra roll, but it didn't let me go any further. So it just stops you at the start, which I think is awful. That is something that you should not do. Otherwise, the rest of the event is pretty cool. I like it. And you can buy additional spins for 50 crystals. If you uh, feel so inclined. It is super randomized, so you can either get very far or not very far, depending on your luck. Oh, let's see. You made a mod for uh, wolf pack protesters that they made a. Oops, we died. That they made a mod for Baldi's Basics. That is interesting. Sorry, I had been looking down at the game the whole time. Got a message from the mod runner. It says your mod has been deleted. Oh, your mod was deleted. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, I like to hear what you had done for the mod, as long as it doesn't contain any spoilers. Because maybe someday I would play it on the channel. I don't know. I know it's a very popular game. A lot of people really like it. And we've fallen. I will use a rescue ticket. Oh, no. You made it. Okay. You'll also notice something uh, during this run that a number of these um, jellies are a little bit different. These are the little cookies like from Yoshi Cookie. That's where I know them from. This is because in the new update, they have added in the Jelly Atlas. So all of the jellies that you unlock from, uh... Wh whenever the jelly shape of the basic jelly changes in... When you level up, now you get to choose which one. So you, you can actually pick which costume you want the jellies to have. So this way, you're not forced to keep that look. Which is useful because some of them would be very distracting, like the yellow ones would be harder to differentiate from the yellow bear jellies. Some of them would get lost in backgrounds and everything, and some of them just had an awesome design, but you'd never be able to get them back if, uh, 
if you leveled up. So, with the Jelly Atlas, we can now choose each of the different ones, and there's a brand new set as well, because they split um, the breakout modes, so now breakout 1 and 2 don't go by the same measuring system. They are now unique. There is more area to breakout 2, which is awesome. Technically, I should have been playing that to show it off. There'll be plenty of time for that in the future. I have yet to get the high score for this month, uh, for this week on the normal breakout. So, Breakout 2 now has, has its own separate thingy, and when you run far enough, you unlock uh, a bonus set of special jellies and costumes. And you can also change the look of the yellow bear jellies and the giant bear jellies. However, even though I have gotten all of them and I have changed the look of the yellow and pink bear jellies and giant bear jellies, when you have the jelly bear cone to add the little whipped cream on top of them, they maintain their normal color. So, uh, Dev Sisters did not realize this, that their j the jelly shape, because they now are like a different gray or color, like a, a brown or a green, instead of the yellow and pink, uh, if I can recall. However, when you have the, the little thingamajig over here, a little berry cone, the, the, bear, the berry cone, it does not actually carry over those colors, because it has the, uh, little swirl of deliciousness on top, so either they will have to take that into account, and then the new shapes, because there are fewer uh, costumes for the other special bear jellies, they have tons of costumes for the basic jellies, the look of those will change constantly. However, the bear jellies have only one spare set that you can unlock from getting far into the whatchamacallit, the new, the newly renewed breakout mode. Oop. Yay, into the sky. So, the, with the little dollop of whipped cream on top of them, they just stay the same color as before. So either they have to draw or add the little whipped cream on top of those every time they add in a new bear set, or they just keep it the way it is and you don't get the cool costumes when you're using this particular treasure. Treasure. There we go. Gotta say words correctly. Don't rush. No need to rush. No need to rush words. I have plenty of time for the day. Things will be fine. No need to hurry. No hurry up. Anyway, Wolfpack Protesters is talking about the mod they made. It's called... Tomics, uh, Tomics, Thomas's basics in robots and stuff. Interesting. Basically, you gotta collect seven robot parts. Everyone is a robot besides Tommy, aka Baldy. That's the mod. Cool. Well, that's nifty. I'm happy that you're modding games. That's awesome. If I'm going to, the only I don't I don't mod games. I barely even play mods. The most I've ever played a mod for something is on the channel already. Like, every mod that I've ever played you have seen on the channel already. <laughs> I don't normally play mods of stuff, so I've been branching out with the, the channel. So I'm very happy that you're able to make your own mods. That's awesome. Trial time. I want to show you... That's the brand new cookie as well, pomegranate. But I want to quickly run as Kamiho so that this way we get the extra spin. And run over. <laughs> yep, all you need to do is just enter the trial if you have both of them. And you can unlock the extra spin. Here we are. There we go. Roulette event. So here's what I was talking about. I'm going to claim two free spins. Each one of those gives me two. So I have, now I have four spins for the day. The little green spot is where I am. So we roll. we just hit this and then we see... Four, we get a bonus spin! Yay! So one, two, three, four. We earn one of these blessing tickets. We have four more spins. Alright, let's see what we get. Three! Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Nothing is wasted. Of course, on camera. <laughs> I'm so glad it actually worked out. Alright, spin time. Oh, you also make games? That's awesome, Wolfpack. I too am working on an app game. I'm working on a bunch of different games, actually, but right now my focus is on one app game in particular. 
but it's a secret for now. You'll find out in the future. Your first game was in 2006, called Little, Little Wolfie's Happy Adventure. That sounds adorable. Aw, oh, great job. You keep on working towards your passions. Yay. Oh, it's like Cookie Run Oven Break. Awesome. Oh, no, three. Ah, uh, we didn't get onto the other spot. See, this is a good place if we get a minus one to go backwards. We have 11 laps, and this event is only good for another day. And I have tons of crystals. The reward we receive for all of these other laps is one of these little... What do you, what do you call them? Uh, one of those special treasure things. So if I spend gems on more spins... It won't go towards my treasure points, though, even though it'll be cheaper than actually buying that on its own, but the treasure points are very nice. And I've already received the best rewards. That costume is something that you can win, and if you already have bought the costume, then you get the equivalent amount of rainbow cubes back for it, which is awesome, because I had spent rainbow cubes on it, so them giving them back to me was great. I thought that was actually just going to be some Kamiho cookies they were going to give to me. And I'd be like, oh, great, more money? I already have tons of money. But nope, they gave me back the rainbow cubes, which was fantastic. Loved the Dev Sisters. Such, so good at games, making games and stuff. Trophy race. They also added in a brand new treasure. So we're going to briefly practice. I'm going to get the 30 million points I need to get the extra boost. The extra little shine points. This treasure, I think, is good... Whenever they introduce a brand new treasure, that's always going to be, like, the best thing. Though I th still think the treasure map is better. Because this seems... Then again, I haven't... I, this is not as upgraded as the other thing. But the main... The main strength of this is that it destroys stuff. So if you don't have as many things to destroy, it's not like the things that give you tons of points anyway. So I'd say that the mirror is probably less useful than, than the treasure map. Which is interesting, because it breaks their... Uh, Continuous streak of all of the new treasures that they release are the best treasure that you should have them with you. And then, of course, the candy engine you should also always have, because that's definitively the best treasure overall. Unless you run farther, gives you a, a temporary shield if you don't get hit for a while. Oh, here they are, green and brown. Those are the pink and bear, uh, the pink and yellow bear jellies now changed in color to be much more earthy that I have unlocked from getting far into the other breakout mode. And you can see them here briefly before I collect them all. And even the giant bear jellies now have antlers. It's another cool thing that I've unlocked. I wanted a change in them, so I am definitely using them, even though it makes them all much more difficult to uh, differentiate. But using this set, the little um, black and white, or the little brown and tan cookies... It looked like a little checkerboard are part of the set as well. They're the basic jelly. Oh, we already reached the goal. Heading out. Wolfpack says, The second game was like an adventure around the world, and the final game that you're working on yesterday was a joke called Your Mile Run. Fun! That sounds nice. Two ancient pet eggs. Very good. ba -doo. And now we have unlocked you, Mirror of Malice. That's what it's called. Here we go. Off the rails. Don't you know it's time to raise our sails? Other things about this update. There's a mysterious red chest event where we earn these little shards to create the treasure chest. You can create one every couple of uh, hours, and then you can get some rewards for it. Meh. These events are okay. They're not my favorite, but uh, you create them, create chest. Yeah, 100% success chance. If you make enough of them, you can earn rewards. Uh, in terms of just timing, because I have been playing Oven Break a little less because of Cookie Wars being out, uh, excuse me, probably not going to get the 30. I'm doubtful of the 20. going to aim for the 10. Getting more rainbow cubes is useful. Especially for Halloween coming up. Because I believe with Halloween coming up, they're going to add in new costumes. And speaking of new costumes, Wind Archer now has a new Dark Raven outfit. This 
makes him the opposite of what he was before. He no longer Night Raven. It does the same amount of points as the Guardian of the Millennium Tree outfit. So this way you can swap over to it without feeling um, upset about missing out on the costume bo bonus. If so, if you're like, oh, the new costume that he has is so awesome, then you don't have to worry about losing a, a benefit. This way you can just become him. So, story-wise, what he does now is that he turns the pure souls into corrupted souls, as opposed to what he would do before, turning the corrupted souls into being pure. So he has been corrupted by the brand new cookie, Pomegranate Cookie, who also is like an enchantress who works for the Dark Enchantress, uh, who is a legendary cookie. So she's like the apprentice of the legendary uh, witch, little witch cookie. Where is she? Which witch am I talking about? The original pomegranate witch. Her. Well, I thought she's a, wait, she's a grape witch, right? Is she pomegranate or grape? I'm pretty sure that she's the master that uh, Pomegranate Cookie talks about. Said that a thousand years... Oh no, she is pomegranate. She's pomegranate syrup. And Pomegranate Cookie is just regular pomegranate. Like the fruit. Alrighty. So, yes, she serves her master who is most likely uh, the Dark Enchantress Cookie. She's just a, she's just a little ray of sunshine. The darkness shall come forever and ever and whatever. So, she has a very unique ability. It's unlike all the other ones, where she is awful in any mode that you don't have relay. Because what she does is she creates these cursed uh, pomegranates. She also creates tiny little pomegranate jellies to collect as well. But she creates these cursed pomegranates which turn basic jellies into these cursed pomegranate jellies. And each one gives you only one point. No matter what bonus you have, they only give you one point. And that's it. You only get one point from each of them. Now what happens is, for every single one of those single point jellies you collect, when you have your relay come in, it adds in this one single super valuable jelly, sort of like the uh, little water dragon that collects a whole bunch of things and then gives you one super valuable gem afterwards. Except here, it basically makes all of the basic jellies worthless. And then depending on how much you have her upgraded, when you get her reward uh, gem at the end, when you add in a new relay person, when, when you send out your relay, there will be one gem, and that gem will be worth all of the jellies that you have collected that were cursed times, like, 30,000 or whatever. So each gem in your relay, it basically, it's like each gem that you collected, which was worth one, would be, like, worth 30,000 points afterwards. So, if you collect, you'll collect, like, a ton of them. You'll get, like, 50 points after collecting 50 gems, and then when you have your relay come in, that would be worth, like, millions and millions of points. So, basically, you get terrible amounts of points for her in her run, but as a relay, you'll get a massive, massive, massive boost of points. Of course, you better not miss the, uh, the gem, so, she is unique in that way, however, if you don't have a relay, so like in oven uh, breakout mode, where she doesn't immediately swap out, so she's basically only good in trophy race and, what do you call it, the other run, Champions League. Those are the only places where she is great. Otherwise, she is absolute trash in any other mode, which is interesting. It's, very, it's a very interesting, unique kind of cookie. So... She, she has her act, she actually has a unique role where even if she's considered amazing uh, in one mode she's awful in another which makes her trial interesting as well because you need to get tons of points but if you collect her pomegranate jellies they're just worth one so what you have to do is you have to avoid her pomegranate jellies you have to actually avoid her ability and get the basic jellies which are worth more than her skill jellies. So this, this is a very interesting one. I've, I've only played it a very little bit. So we're going to have a lot of fun looking at this trial. I've just briefly tried it out. But let's take a look at her story, which I have yet to look at uh, so far. 
dressed in her scarlet ceremonial attire with glimmering pomegranate drop decorations. Pomegranate Cookie was raised in the land of powerful sorcerers as a young priestess to the sacred pomegranate tree. But when she was foretold to follow a great darkness, she started to doubt her upbringing. When an unstoppable dark force overran her homeland, Pomegranate already knew she met her destiny and gladly joined her mysterious new master. So she went from being on the good side to the dark side. Dun dun dun. Here's a little pomegranate pet. Just creates little seed jellies. Pretty standard. A fruit of the sacred pomegranate tree. Ruby pomegranate gleams like a jewel. This pet possesses a mystical ability to see even with its eyes closed. But unlike pomegranate cookie, it only shows the pure and bright side of things. Interesting. She also holds a mirror. So that treasure that you get is her the pomegranate cookie's mirror. So she is very dark. She has evil within her. Whereas the pomegranate tree fruit little pet is actually very good. Oh, and Wolfpack protesters has been talking. You like marketing. Oh, ma you like making your stuff, which is a lot of fun. Awesome. Your friend is playing your mod and tested it for you. That's awesome. You're also making a plushie. Also cool. It's a plushie of a Fortnite character. You're going to go play your game, and then you're leaving. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much, Wolfpack protesters. I'm very glad that you were able to come by here. So I hope you have a great day. Have fun uh, playing your game. You certainly worked hard to get it all up and running. We'll still be here in case you want to watch the rest of the live stream. Otherwise, you have a great day. And if anybody else in the chat wants to talk, feel free. Even the tree can't resist the curse. All right, running time. See, that's the cursed pomegranate jelly, and it gives us just one jelly despite all of our bonuses. So we'll still get a whole bunch of points for the other valuable jellies, like the bear jellies, but the basic jellies are completely worthless, especially in this mode, because so you don't actually get the, the, uh, the goodliness of the giant pomegranate as your reward. I have not practiced well with this. It's not me going in blind, but it might as well be because I barely know the uh, the route. I just played a little bit. I haven't even gotten our magic candy yet, so I want to try and do that soon. Uh, I did not find out about the bonus or the, the little tip for the trials myself. I follow Cookie Run uh, updates on Twitter. That th that's their name, Cookie Run updates. And then they had said the way to be able to get through it is to avoid those cursed pomegranates. Which I'm pretty sure I would have figured out eventually. But I would have messed up a bit more ahead of time had I gotten it. Uh, had I been trying this before. She also is not very upgraded. I only just got a, a couple of pomegranate cookie points. Uh, darn, I didn't get the three potions. I missed that one at the beginning. Also figuring out which treasures would be best for her. I don't think the mirror is good enough yet, because that's not very upgraded either. Okay, let's continue on. Unfortunately, she is not she's not very strong yet. So let me head over. I have one more treasure key saved up. No, mailbox closed. There we go. Gotcha. I'm going to get one more set for the pomegranate. That rhymed. Hooray! All right, there we go. 18 out of 20. Oh, and Squid Ink Cookie is leveled up. We don't need Squid Ink at the moment. Blah. Ooh, we did earn a prize. Yay! Bonus chest, bonus chest. We just got a pile of money. Now I'm going to use two of my Spirit Potions to upgrade Pomegranate Cookie because, come on, really? Really? She's just two away from being upgraded. We might as well upgrade Squid Ink as well. While we're here. Yay! Squid Ink is adorable when she squats down. She's just like, squish. I've shown you that before if you've watched the uh, very brief stream that I had done with her before. Not herbivore. Her before. One, two. There we go. Level six. Ta-da! And level up. Yeah, man. 
There we go. Sorry this is not too interesting. I've been a, a bit of a low energy sort of day today. I recorded a video already. Two videos already, actually. I've already lost most of my audience so far, so I do apologize that I'm not too interesting at the moment. I also wish to upgrade one of my cookies. Let's see. How is Lemon doing? Lemon grab. Adventure Time is over. I have yet to watch all of Adventure Time, though. So I still have a whole bunch of Adventure Time to catch up on. Should I upgrade Lemon Cookie, or should I upgrade the pet? I'm going to go with the pet. Because the pet is a bit further behind the cookie. Behind the cookie. A new segment on ABC. Where are you? There you are. Where are you? There you are again. Okay. I'm going to spend my 30 spirit potions to upgrade you. Poifectamundo. Yes. Since I use you very much in the main mode, you are of extra use to me. So I do not feel bad in spending these spirit potions. Ooh. Even faster creation. A significantly faster creation, too. Awesome. I use them for my trophy races. So... That is a good, it's a very good, very good thing to have. Very good thing to have. The endless night shall come. That's nice. That's nice. I'm going to swap out this. She needs more distance. So I'm going to give her the lollipop skate. She's going to run. Hooray. That's great. It rhymes. Man, you just love talking about how that tree can't resist the curse, can you? All right, priestess with the mistis. Let's run. Jump over it. Yay! We get a whole bunch of points. We get a whole bunch of points. Oh my gosh. That was not me messing up the jump there. That was really awful lag. I have not seen that in a long time. Okay, see, that jump was me. I jumped unnecessarily, but I didn't really want to continue the run anyway. That was so awful. I just ran right into that thing without even trying. Without, what, without her even trying to avoid it, I mean. I, I was... Not, I didn't try. I successfully jumped at the right time for that. And it just made me run into the obstacle. Here, alright. Jump, jump, jump. All right, are you going to do it again? No, that jump worked correctly. Why? Why did you do that? Ah. Whoa. Huh. That time I didn't hit the jump button and she had been running a whole bunch on her own. Interesting. Well, I need that first potion anyway, even if I get hit. All right, let me continue... Just going to test things out here. I do apologize. I'm sorry this is not a very interesting stream. The Age of Darkness shall come. Yep, okay. Very good. Thank you for telling us all about the impending doom. Oh, she makes a jingling sound as her jump. Okay, then get hit. Then collect the potion, and I missed the other potion. So we're going to restart that. Eh. <laughs> uh. No stream will be better than the Indiana Jones one. It just is not. Oops. Hit my thingy. My little stand. Even though I'm not actually using the stand at the moment, I'm just holding my phone at this point. Okay. How do I get that potion? Could always land correctly, but that's not going to happen. Uh, all right, try it again. Trying it again. Trying it again. Gonna have to try this. Trying it again. Look in the mirror at your own risk. Oh, thank you. You know, I already don't really care much for my own face, hence why you don't see it. Oh, you meant your evil cursed mirror. Oh, I see. Not just any plain mirror. No, I meant any plain mirror. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's why I hear... Let me show you my appreciation for your comment there. There are no obstacles to kill you, darn it. All right, time to quit. No one is watching the stream at the moment. <laughs> I can say whatever I want. Only I truly understand my master's ways. Okay. You know, with this amazing freedom, I choose to say... Hoopla. Oh, that's why I'm messing up the jump. I have the lollipop skate. I can't actually hit it correctly. Okay. She gets hurt. Oh my gosh! Come on, potion. Looks like I'm gonna have to unequip the lollipop skate if I actually want to try and get that. Let me just show off. Well, I've already shown off the mirror. Let me show you the map. I'm 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 the map. Do you wish to know your fate? Is it being a map? Because if so, that's not a, that's not too bad of a fate, especially if I'm alive, like in Dora. Man, I always make Dora references during Cookie Run Oven Break, Cookie Run games, and I don't know why. It just happens. I don't intend to. Oh! Ah! You did this again! Why you do this? Why you make me avoid the thing? Why you make me jump over the potion? Oh, now we get the nothing points. Oh, and she's not doing the correct runny. So she's not getting enough of the points. No. No. No, we're going to lose again. This map is fantastic, though. Makes sense. Because it's the, it was the, it was the newest treasure until the, uh, Mirror came out. Will we be able to get a thing? No, we won't. Oh, we may. No, we won't. Okay, third potion. A uh, second potion. Would be the third potion if we got the earlier one. I might as well just practice going through the rest of this route. Though I believe that there were only three potions. Jelly. Oh, good, and that thing up there is way too high for us to reach, so we don't even need to worry about avoiding it. Boing. Yay, Gerald McBoing Boing. All right, we got a reward. Ooh, we may actually do it. We may actually break the next rank. Will we? Yay! We actually we actually got up to the next rank, which I did not expect. I did not expect that. Okay. Well, this round worked out. What do we get as our prize? Ooh, yes, the bells. We need those bells. Okay. Now all we need to do is not, not mess up that potion thing. And then we'll, we will succeed. I think I'm going to swap out the earrings because the treasure chest is better. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring in the Divine Guardian shield. She gets hit anyway. So might as well keep her protected. And this way I don't have a magnet the entire time to get that cursed jelly, even though I already accidentally just landed on the cursed jelly. Well, you know what? This round isn't going to be focused on getting things correct. This round is just going to be focused on getting those potions, which we will still fail to do anyway. Oh, good. I got two out of the three. Self-deprecation for the win in this case. She'd be good around Christmas. She always has her jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle... Oh, let me let me try and jump along to it. Jingle be bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Darn it, no. We got the first potion. I'm going to waste one of my rescue tickets on you. I'm not giving up that potion. 
I've worked so hard to try and get the first potion anyway. We're not, we're not messing this up again. Come on. Come on, get all the way over. She has more health now. She should be able to... Oh, no! I hate you. I hate you so much, Pomegranate Cookie. You are awful. Your ability is only good in trophy race. And the other run. So, for the other modes, you are useless. And I dislike you greatly. I mean, I like your design, you're cool. But also, I hate you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah! You didn't jump in time to get on the spring. You. 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 All right. Come on. Let's try this again. Let's try it again. Come on. Come on. We jump over the thing. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go and not die. We won't die. We will survive. We will live. Jump over you, jump over you, jump over you, jump over you. And get hurt here. Get the potion. That gives us time to bounce. And good. <sighs> okay. Well, we have gotten some points. Yeah! There goes all of our points. Yep, I had to speak. Because when I speak, things go bad. And bad things happen. Because I speak. Of course. Now we get no points at all from all of these. Because we don't get to see... I actually have not played as her in any other... No! In any other mode, so I don't know what her giant uh, special crystal looks like, even. I have not seen the usefulness of her for myself. Hence why I think she is also even more worthless. Because I, I have not even seen her in her best successful modes. Ha! You weren't getting me that time, Pit. I'm an eggplant wizard. I shall defeat Pit. Also, we got the potions. Finally! Oh, ha! Didn't get me that time, other Pit. Dark Pit. Yes. Yes! We're actually succeeding. Bouncy bounce. Bouncy trouncy. Flouncy mouncy. Fun 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 fun. Okay. We have a distinct lack of points for this point. But we did not die. Which is good. Though I don't think that we will be able to receive the next rank. We can at least look at the rest of the stage. Get an idea of anything else to come. There's more basic jumps. Bounces. Ooh. All right. And there's one more potion all the way over there. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know on Halloween. Do any of you remember that old cartoon Donald Duck and the Witch? Witch Hazel, I think. I remember that. We had a... Oh, she's now out of energy. But we managed to get... That's not the bells. That was a red... We already have five bells. We needed the... Oh my gosh, we needed the... We didn't need the red. I could have upgraded her magic candy at any point. After we had received that other main prize. <laughs> magic candy upgrade. Ah, oh, magic mirror. Like Mickey in the magic mirror. Which... I played a long time ago at a friend's house, and I would want to play that again, because that was a fun game. I love that look she has. She's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there was this old House of Mouse VHS of s spooky uh, spooky things that I would watch at Halloween. So that was one of the songs on there. I could use a good blessing ticket, or I could use up a whole bunch of these weaker ones. Which I think I will do. Protective shield. Sounds useful. We'll apply it first because we have no other ability. Now we'll try it again. Luckily I have tons of money. 
and I have tons of these tickets, which I wish to use up so that this way I can get closer to acquiring the, what do you call it, the, da 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 Ah, uh, what do you call it? 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 The quest, the quest for blessing a, the magic candies a whole bunch of times. I want to be able to get that, so I'm using the weaker ones and saving the better tickets. So I'm just gonna burn through a whole bunch of these, and maybe I can even burn through some coins because I have tons and tons of coins. Rescue from a hole one time. Good to know. I wonder if she doesn't actually get any. Well, she did get the points for a whole bunch of things. She gets a lot of the utility ones, a lot of the utility blessings a lot more. Well, as much as she dies, she also falls down a lot. Hmm. Protective shield would be useful. And again, the rescue from a hole is also very useful. We'll see. Rescue from a hole one time. We're going to wait and see if we can get a better a better ability. Do I, go, do I go for the protective shield, or do I go for the rescue from a hole? Oops. Let me think, because she does get hit a whole lot, and having a protective shield would be useful automatically, especially for a trial, which... which would be useful. Yeah, I'm going to have the shield instead. Let's burn through some more of these. Shall we? Ooh, we shall. Still a shield. Keep on skipping through. Bless again, I don't care about you. Rescue from a hole? Nah, because we can still use the rescue ticket if I really needed to help her. An extra jump? Only useful for, like, ninja cookie. Ooh! Oh, it's two extra jumps. Darn it. Yes, bless again, I know. It's a new... It's a good ability, but no. The extra jumps are not going to be as useful for her. I'm only going to be using her for the trial, so I might as well have the shield, which will help me in case I get hurt. Though, the rescue from a hole will help her to go a little bit further. I don't know. I have 30 million coins, so I might as well spend some of them. Ooh, 38 points for all jellies. These are usually my favorites of them. These are usually the ones that I like the most. And honestly, because she gets so few points for everything, I might as well give her the point bonuses anything to be helpful. Ooh, two extra jumps again. Why is that the only... That's not new, I've already gotten that one before. Why is that the only good skill that I get? Never mind, apply, that is one of the best. Okay. Well, we're going to quit for, the, for right now. That's the one that I usually would want for my normal cookies. So even though she doesn't get a bunch of those other ones, and mostly she has the utility, she still gets one of the best. Okay. Well, that ended up working out. <laughs> That's good. It's very good. I'm going to use the gotcha again. I have tons of crystals, so I might as well spend a few more on trying to get her. There we go. Level up again, and another squid ink as well. And this way, when we level her up, it also restores her abilities. Where are you? Oh, I can just upgrade her. Ah, I just saw her. I was going to be... I was just thinking, oh, I can upgrade her from here. Then I saw her right there. I don't have to scroll through everything. 224, 233, Magic Pomegranate, level 7. Yeah, she does have a bit of lower health. Okay. Four bear party jellies. That shouldn't be too hard to achieve. Hmm. I think I'm going to have the coin fireworks. They earn points. Well, nah. Wouldn't be able to get enough of those. These things may end up being a bit too high. So I don't think that's worth it for her. Let me try the Constellation Globe. That's worth a whole lot of points every few seconds. All right, let's give it a shot. Everyone keeps a seat of darkness inside. Yes, and she unlocked the true darkness of the raven. 
of our little friend, Wind Archer. Also, this is the first time I've seen her magic candy ability, so I guess it destroys obstacles similar to the mirror that she has before? It does! It creates little shards. Good to know. She's much more useful now. We have another great treasure now that we don't have to worry about the, uh, the shield to get the points. She now has magic candy and blessed magic candy. Did that thing just go through the bear jelly? And I got the terrible points. So all those point bonuses that I've got are now completely null and void. Does she destroy obstacles and if she touches other jellies, she creates more mirror shards? I didn't actually read what her mirror does. I will do that after we fail this round. Ah, I got the thing again. Darn it. Ah, these are awful. You're a terrible cookie. And now that rescue from a hole would be useful right about now. Uh, <laughs> I still like having the tons of points. Hey, we got more people here. Zack Snyder reference. Hello, oh, Zack, Zack Snyder referee. Hello there, nice to see ya. And it's Sonic Glitcher. Hey, it's me, lol. Well, hi there to you, Sonic Glitcher. We're going through the run. Things had not been too successful before, but we have leveled her up, so we are now ready and raring to go for the rest of this mission. Just going to check out your channels briefly while I'm here. I will give you a Zack Snyder reference, a uh, referee, excuse me, a little sub for coming by and watching our stream, because that's just what I like to do for everybody who decides to check out my channel. So you get a little sub from me. I'm already subbed to Sonic Glitcher, which is cool. Yay! Alrighty, time to proceed with the run. Only I understand my master's true ways. Uh-huh, yep, she has succumbed to the darkness. Oh, I forgot to read what the mirror does. I think it just gives me points. It gives me those shard jellies, because I didn't think I ran through any normal jellies. When I had thought that it gives me points for having the mirror shine while jellies were, uh, shine through jellies, it was because I had gone past those... Oh, we got the potion! Hooray! It's because we went through those uh, rainbow bear jellies. So I thought, oh, she gets the points from going through those jellies. But I think she just gives us points for the mirror and then also destroys stuff. Maybe? Yes, I got the map piece but missed that. It's okay if I got hit there. It's not okay that I got hit there. I was going to say it's okay that I got hit there because then I didn't take any real damage. Then took more damage. Everything I try to do with this round ends up failing in one way or another. Come on. Come on, you can get through this. You, you, ah, darn it. You got hit again. Now I'm regretting the shield. But we get so many more points. We get so many more points for having her have the 74 points for all jellies. It's still worth it. Once I get better at this round, I won't need to worry about that. Also, the rainbow bag is worth taking a hit for. Man, I got hit twice during this round. I'm gonna lose soon enough. But hey, at least I'll be able to see uh, what the mirror does after we lose. Aha! Jumping over you! Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie dokeroo. And I have received you, solid blue crystal, which I use to make the, what do you call them, rainbow cubes, which is useful, so I do not regret getting that. Okay, magic candy skill. Magic mirror emits a beam of light, creating pomegranate reflection jellies and destroys obstacles. The more it's triggered, the higher the thing, and the more points you earn. Okay, so it is what I had figured. Anything for my master. Yep, we get it, you're evil. Serve the evil ones. Jump around and run. Collect the things and continue to run. Maybe this time we will not fail. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is certainly one of my lesser cookie run episodes. We missed that potion. I don't know what's... 
allows us to get the potion or miss that potion. Ah, well. Ah, darn it, I missed those because I was just jumping sp uh, sporadically. Unnecessarily. See, that's okay when we get hit there. Any other times I get hit is not good. There we are. Okay. I jumped a little too early the last round. We head around here. We duck. And we jump. And we duck. Duckman. Underrated. Fantastic show. Why did you jump like that? I... I don't know. I can't blame the game because I don't know if I did that this time. Though as shown before, even though you couldn't really see it, the game has messed me up. I'll take the blame for that one, though. Though I don't know exactly what happened. Well, we got the four bear party jellies. So at least we got one mission. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah. Okay. There are two bags that we are going to miss. So I fell down the hole. I'm going to see if I can try and use that to help me get further. And it was a wasted ticket. This is one of my least favorite trials ever. It is one of my least favorite rounds. One of my least favorite cookies. One of my least favorite of everything. Enter bonus time. I'm going to try using the lollipop skate again. We're going to just see. We're just going to see. Hopefully that all of my failures will be helpful to you. Uh, this is one of my longer cookie run streams. Oh my gosh, we're reaching over an hour at this point. Well, I paid the gems. This grove will fall under my curse. I paid all the gems to be able to bring her back again. So we might as well go until she dies. Okay, we have the lollipop skate, so things will go faster for us, so we'll probably mess up more. But, if we don't, that means we'll get to go further. And with her mirror... She didn't get hit from those things. Okay, her being able to destroy things is fantastic. Thank you. That's that's exactly the little boost that I needed. Because otherwise she was not good. And it's also, it really is worth taking that hit to miss those jellies. Because those cursed pomegranates will just ruin the run. No. No, no, no. Okay. We can we can come back. And I missed the bear party, so now we are down tons of points. This is not good at all. Everything is bad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Missed the pomegranate. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's not good. Okay. Gonna jump here. Okay. Gonna get the potion. And we got that silver one. Okay. Jump, 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 jumping, jumping, jumperoo. Jumpy jump for me and you. Okay. Oh. And get you. No! We got the pomegranate. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Ah. Uh, well, that ruined our run. If I had just missed that, Oh my gosh, it just keeps going! Why do you keep going? No! Sonic Glitcher and Zack Snyder referee have left, probably. They're not commenting anymore. We got three shards. Jump over you. Continue to run. And don't take any hits. Please don't die. No, she's gonna die. She got hit, but then I got the potion. And I missed the other potion, just die already. <sighs> I am actually getting legitimately frustrated. This is one of the few games that I get frustrated with. Because I actually care about it. Come on. Speed it along, speed it along. There we go, singing our song. This is not a song. It's just speech. Just very disgruntled speech. 
I've been looking up the time a whole bunch, so it's just like, man, we're at 58 minutes for a long time now. Now 59 minutes for a long time now? When are we going to get to an hour? And I was looking at the time, and I got hit. Quit. Yay, we reached an hour. Woo! I could be filming other things instead of this. I hate you so much, pomegranate cookie. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Do you know to wish your fate? I already know my fate. It's going to be failure. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Actually do it this time. This is one of the... This is the worst trial. It's not even a clever thing like Ninja Cookies that was very difficult, but like... Once you learn the ins and outs of him, it's better. This is just awful, and I jumped over the magnet on my own because I keep jumping. Because I am not only am I not used to this course, but I keep everything is so dark, and I ah, we might as well just quit the round anyway. Uh, everything is so dark. All the obstacles are dark. It's hard to see whenever something comes up, so I keep jumping extra, and I jumped over the magnet. Ah. <sighs> Come on, come on, come on. Jump over you. Get all of the basics. All these basics. Jump on the spring. Jump over you. Jump over you. Jump over too. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. Now we stay on the ground. We get the magnet. Jump here. Get all of those. Get the mirror jellies. Jump over that. Take the hit, which is worth it, absolutely. Because those po dark pomegranates will destroy us if we get them. Duck. Jump. Don't die. Jump over you, jump over you, jump over you, jump over you. See that candle thing there? I keep thinking that's an obstacle. That's part of the background. Oh! You didn't jump in time! And now I missed the giant potion because I am so frustrated. No, you don't. Uh, no. Come on, come on. I, I give up. Uh, I don't even care about the round. There you go, you're just dead. She's just like, eh, whatever. <sighs> I hiss at you. Grove will fall under your curse. Yada, yada, yada. Fine. Come on. Go. Okay. Getting stuff for you. Getting stuff for you. I don't know why. It's mostly my own fault. Oh, that time we got the potion. It's mostly my own fault, except occasionally the game will do something random and throw me for a curveball, and I don't know why. Okay. Maybe this round will be better. Jump over you. Get all of those. Jump over. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's lagging, it's lagging, okay. Oh! It was lagging there. See that, that thing over there? I gotta jump, double jump over it, I don't single jump. Okay. Got hurt there because for some reason I just can't avoid getting hit there. Okay, got both of those, got both of those, got both of those, got both of those. Jump over you. Get you, get you, get you, get all of you, get all of you, get all of you, get all of you. Get hit by this because the shield doesn't reactivate in time. Take damage from both. Whoa! Jump over, jump over, jump over. Come on, 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 come on. That doesn't magnetize things. It only gets those jellies. I wish that shield magnetized them as well. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. No, we're going to lose the round. We're going to lose, we're going to lose, we're going to lose, we're going to lose, we're going to lose. And all was for naught. We could not go any further. And that was probably the best round that we had done. 
so how many more ranks am I supposed to get? They expect me okay, they expect me to get 25 million points, which is about half of the usual. Okay, at least that's a bit more reasonable. Ah, uh, I don't even know where the bonus time is. I get the first bonus, but I don't get the time part. Maximum pet and cookie effect is level 11. She's already at level 7. She's slightly more than halfway there to being maxed out. And we are doing so awful. Also, she doesn't create those little spewed pomegranate jellies. That's what the pet does. Uh, I will do anything for my master, except win. She certainly is evil. I tapped the wrong thing. Well, I can officially say I have tried my best for over an hour and five minutes at least. We got our magic candy. We got what I thought was a good blessing, although maybe that shield would actually be better. Uh, which is a shame because if I, sw I can't just swap out to the shield because then I lose those points, so if the points were better, then I just lose that incredible boost. Also, I found sometimes that shield, because I had the shield on the werewolf, sometimes the shield just isn't up when you take another run. Sometimes it's just like, oh, there's no shield. So you just run into obstacles anyway, and you get you take damage from it. Sometimes just the bubble shield around them just doesn't work. So it's unreliable. I don't usually go for those, in addition to the extra jump ones, because those utility skills, they just don't seem to always work. Maybe that, was, maybe that happened just after I had gotten them the first time. Maybe they fixed them in the future. But I can safely say that this trial is awful. I will probably do better at it off-screen, as is usually the case, since, you know, as the other trials, I've been able to successfully get through all of them, except for Miss Sriracha. Miss Tabasco Sauce Cookie over here. She's the only one who I failed getting the diamond rank for before the event happened. Got very close with uh, gra Grapefruit, but I managed to get the diamond for her last minute. Same with Salt. <sighs> this is... Even her trial was good because at least she got tons of coins for it. Pomegranates is probably probably the worst trial so far because she's just a terrible cookie in any mode that is not the trophy race. Ah. Oh, I forgot. I want to show off the last part of this update. Here. One more day. New thing. Here we go. Choco Mint Ryu. You also have limited cookies now. You can't bring in every cookie. There's a couple of cookies that you cannot have anymore. In this section, but yep, they've added in new areas and you unlock stuff for getting past there. Send energy. Did I send energy to all my friends? Ooh, not yet. I did not send it to Heather, apparently. Oh, she was a new friend after I had sent it to everybody. Okay. So, yep, brand new round this way. They're all set at different times, so each breakout gives rewards at different intervals. That'll be tomorrow, that'll be in four days, and that'll be in six days. Which I need to get the pirate gold coin thing for. Ah, uh, you know what, I might as well record. Might as well record it around where I actually try, rather than just have the auto apply. I want to actually succeed at something during this round. So I might as well try and go through this. It'll take a while, but it won't be as long as all of those failures of pomegranate cookies run through. That was awful. This is one of the worst of the live streams that I've done in both commentary and in con content, as in what you were watching. Because not only did I fail, but I also failed to be funny. Which is the worst thing. I can fail, but if I fail to be funny, that's the worst. There's just, there's just nothing good about that. That just makes it a terrible time for everyone. Anyway, getting tons and tons of coins. 
in the pirate breakout run. Breakout mode. I love Pirate Cookie. I love Pirate Cookie's trial. Missed that, but that's okay, because we get tons of them in the future. As I mentioned before, I was always hoping Pirate Cookie would be buffed. Because I was like, oh, he's so awesome. And then not only did they buff him, but they extremely buffed him. And now he is one of the best. He went from being, oh, so close to being super good, but not very good, to being fantastic. Absolutely love good old pirate cookie. Also, Giggle Bomb farts. It doesn't actually explode part of itself. Those are its farts. Again, mentioned in the pirate cookie and ice candy live stream. Oh, we got hit. Oops. Well, since these breakout results happen much more frequently than when it first came out, I don't feel as bad about messing up a little bit. I'm just going to get a bunch of extra coins. This mode is great for items and stuff in the Pirate Coin Ocean Shop, as well as just money grinding in general. This stage has officially stopped me from playing the game a whole bunch uh like six times a day with cheesecake and mint choco to just doing this stage, which is equally as useful. Oh, there you go. See, those are the giant uh, bear jellies. Because now I don't need to worry about... Because I could also play as them in the normal mode. However, since they can run infin uh, infinitely and don't have to run out of energy while doing this mode, since there's a cap off to how much money you can get anyway, they let you be like, yeah, okay, you can play them as much as you want, so this, this way you don't have to worry about score, which is super nice. And then you get money, and you can also get the... You can keep the items that you get, and you can play this, this mode infinitely, because nobody runs out of stamina, which is so nice, and I absolutely love this mode, this particular special breakout episode, which is special because it is different from the others in a whole number of ways, both in the coins and in all the mechanics. It's a whole bunch of mechanics in there, but they died in the ship. Also, as the story supposedly goes, uh, Pirate Cookie was attacked by Squid Ink Cookie, who was the giant octopus, managed to knock her out. She lost all of her memory. And he kind of felt bad about it. So he ends up being nicer to her. Even though, when she's... Uh... Upset, she turns into the giant squid. Or scared. And uh, unfortunately, Squid Ink Cookie is always upset and scared. She also eats those ink coins. That's her food which is why she loved the shiny coin so much, which is why she attacked his pirate ship in the first place. Uh, trying to acquire all of his coins. So that's supposedly how their connection seems to go. Not con officially confirmed. Uh, but I know that uh, something that I thought was official before uh, when Cookie Run Updates did the coffee cookie interviews with the other cookies, they're not actually, uh, officially canon. They're made by, like, an awesome fan. But similar to the, uh, Cookie Run fan comic that was made of, like, Hero Cookie in the cookie place, it's like, uh, would it be like a level... It's not like an actual canon to the series. Uh... The, the actual Cookie Run comics aren't even canon to the series anyway. But, uh... Somebody had made a, a comic somewhere. They had drawn it up about, uh... Werewolf Cookie attacking, uh... A, like, a, a Cookie Academy run by Princess Cookie. And Hero Cookie was, uh... The sec secretly the hero. It's, it's a, a cute little comic. I liked it. If you can find it on your own. I don't remember what it was called. Uh... Very cute little comic, but uh, the Dev Sisters had actually acknowledged it, and they were like, hey, you should check out this awesome comic, it's super great. Uh, and they don't always acknowledge all fan things. They do a pretty good job, but I think they acknowledge things that end up being, like, really, really good. So I imagine that whenever 
Because Cookie Run updates, like, is... I don't know exactly how they are in relation to things. They aren't just some random person. I think they, like, work with the game. Or, like, there's somebody who works on the game. At their staff. Who does a bunch of awesome things. Oh, we fell. Not worth a rescue ticket. I already wasted one with Pomegranate earlier. So, Cookie Run updates. They, uh... They're not quite... They're not the official Cookie Run place, but they are. They do give official updates and stuff, so they're in the know. Like, they're not just some person hacking the game or whatever. They're, like, officially associated with Cookie Run. And whenever they acknowledge some fan work that ends up being, like, extra special, I usually consider that to be part of the canon. Because they'll just be like, oh man, this is great. Uh, you, you guys should check out this thing that fans had done in particular. Uh... Because they don't always talk about, like, uh, the ships. They don't always talk about people who ship uh, some of the cookies. They, don't, they certainly don't talk all about the uh, gumball and peppermint shipping that happens. But uh, certain other little comics that they do, they mention and bring up and talk about. So those I usually think, because there's so little about the actual canon to the series and more info on the cookies, that anything that they decide to be like, hey, this is awesome, fans had worked on this, it's sort of like a fan project that gets a sort of pass on being like, we're not officially acknowledging it as canon, but unless we say otherwise, you can basically take it as canon. Because they're very, uh, the coffee cookie interviews are very close to the cookies' real personalities, and something that they would actually be so it it works basically as an extension of uh of them which is pretty nice so essentially uh they're not confirmed nor denied which is good enough for continuing with the cookie run canon i really really love this game by the way it not only is this a the perfect combination uh of Cookie Run and Oven Break, which I wanted. I'd even tried to do something similar to that when I had been on Scratch in my earlier days. Called it uh, Cookie Run. I called it Oven Break or Co Oven Break Cookie Run Sugar Dash. So my version of it was just called Sugar Dash, basically. It was my, my rendition of Cookie Run. I wasn't calling it Sugar Dash and then using the assets of it. It was like. Oven Break Sugar Dash, like a subsidiary of it. I didn't even know all the names of all the cookies at that point, so I would just come up with names for them by looking at them. Some of them I would look up their names for. And the pets, I didn't have any other uses for besides changing the look of the, uh... The jellies. Very primitive, but fun. I I do not upgrade update my scratch. Oh, that was cool, we got bronze, silver, and gold all in one. I don't upgrade scratch too much anymore. But I love how much power Dev Sister has over this since they've separated from Line. And then it ends up just being so much fun. I really, really love this game. I love the characters, even though we don't get too much info on all the characters. Still wish that they would have more character personality. At least Cookie Wars has some of the cutscenes. But otherwise, I'm feeling in a better mood now, now that we've actually succeeded, succeeded at something. Bill Cipher is here, and Sans the Skeleton. Hello, hello. Nice to see ya here. Too bad you came when we're ending the stream. So, sorry about that. Ugh, I'm stiff from being in one position the whole time. Blech. All right, well, I believe it's that time again, friends. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone, and this is Handington signing off. Bye!